Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about regrowing celery. And I'm really excited to share my experience and my success in regrowing celery. This is the first time I am regrowing celery. This is my third one and I am really excited about the success. However, when I attempted to start regrowing celery in soil, I didn't, it didn't do very well. This one started the same time as this one. This one started in water, just like this one, and it is two months old. Since then, I have started a second one. That's one month old, and Here's my third one. And as you can see, this one just never took off. I set it outside to acclimate and it just didn't do well. Therefore, from my experience, starting celery root in water seems to do a lot better. So the way you get started is you wanna cut off the end, slice it about two inches off the root and from the bunch of celery. You wanna place it in water, set the celery in a shallow glass bowl or jar, and then watch it grow. After a few days, you st should start seeing little small leaves emerging from the very center of the top. It does need mostly, it, it um, does need mostly cool weather, so I'm, started planting in the early spring for the best results. However, we are now in the beginning of June and I wanna continue growing celery. So what I did is I chose to select a very um, a, a cool area of my backyard. So this has a lot of tree covering. It gets very little sun and it's very cool. And this is allowing me to continue growing celery even in the beginning of June. What I wanna do now is I wanna take this celery and I wanna replant it here. Celery needs a lot of water. So in order for the celery to continue growing well, the soil has to stay moist. So let's start. What I did is I went on ahead and started a hole here because I'm gonna also put this celery in this um, barrel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out like this and just stick it in just like that. And I'm gonna backfill it with soil just like this. And the cool thing about this uh, planting barrel is it's under a pine tree. So you can see I have a lot of pine clip fallings off the tree, which acts as a mulch. So now I have placed the celery root in this soil, just like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it with the mulch. I'm gonna add a little more soil. This is, this is my soil factory, if you will. I always keep extra soil around so that I can use it. And I mix my compost and worm casting and as much nutrient ingredients in order to keep it nutrient rich. So I always have soil to come to when I need it. All right, now, it's already planted. So this is the first one that I planted two months ago. Again, started it from water as opposed to soil. After it got roots and leaves started emerging from the center, look at this. 
it's, it's doing beautiful. It loves the location it's in because it doesn't get direct sun. And this is a cool area of my backyard. I also started a second one. And as you can see, it's also doing very well. And then of course, here's my third one that I just planted. Celery starts can be harvested in three months. So it's gonna take about probably September to start harvesting this. Uh, you harvest the stalks by snapping off the outer ribs and letting the inside grow. So celery is basically a hardy biennial. So I'm not quite sure exactly what to expect after I harvest this celery. I am excited that it loves the location it's in. It continues to grow in this particular corner. During the beginning of June, we're starting to hit 90 degree temperature. And I'm confident that the area that I have chose to grow this celery, even during the early summer, well, it's still spring, but we're in the uh, first month of June, that it is, continues to do well. One other thing that I also like to do is a leaf compost. Look how moist this is. So this is my leaf compost that I have set out for two years. If you look at my previous video where I harvested, excuse me, um, if you look at my previous video where I was showing my leaf compost, the good thing about leaf compost, it holds moisture very, very well. So what I did with this leaf compost is I put it on top of this and I put it on top of uh, this uh, container so the soil will stay moist. Again, celery loves a lot of water. It needs water. It cannot dry out. And the, considering the fact that we are now in the beginning of June, I would need to make sure the moist is soil. So I'm using my leaf compost to put around my newly planted celery to ensure that the soil still stays wet. And this soil is still wet too. So there you have it. Regrowing celery. It's easy, it's simple. I'm excited to share with you three celery plants that I have just started from just regrowing celery. Why throw the ends away? Regrow your celery. And I'm gonna continue just sharing my updates with you. I can't wait to start harvesting the celery in three months to see what the outcome is. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.